Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out another abstract form that I just discovered. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so now I got to go to the stroke, click on the stroke. I got to select the color. I'm going to go with black this time. And I'm going to select the circle, the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift plus alt. Create the first circle. Okay, press Control C, then Control F, then press and hold Shift and scale it downwards like this. I'm gonna make it this small, okay? I'm gonna increase the stroke thickness a little. I'm gonna go with three. Uh, and now I'm gonna recolor the stroke. I'm gonna go magenta, or yeah, it's gonna be magenta. And this one is going to be a an orange. And of course, make sure that the orange is on the top. So right click, go to try, what is that arrange and bring to front, select both, go to object and click on blend make. So as you can see, we got a gradient because uh, I'm gonna double click here on the blend settings and I'm gonna select specify steps because it's on 145. If it would be on two, it would be only two uh, copies, but we're gonna need to make a nice, I'm gonna go with 200 and click okay. So it's gonna have a nice gradient effect like this. From here, let's go to the effects, distort and transform and click on the zigzag. So we got a couple of things going on. I'm gonna select the smooth like that and I'm gonna increase the size. I'm gonna increase it and I'm gonna go to the, what is that, ridges per segments and I'm gonna increase that a lot. And check it out, it's gonna start creating this beautiful effect. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with 30 and also I can increase the size even more. Click OK. And this is how you achieve this effect in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.